What's going on everybody, it's Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to continue with the Interaction SDK, but this time I'm going to be answering the question that some of you had on the previous video, and that is Dilmer, can I create an OVR player controller by using the Interaction SDK? And the answer to that is yes, you can. And I'm gonna show you in this video how you can use more of a locomotion and a snap rotation type controller to be able to move around and also use some of the interaction SDK features. So let's jump into my computer and start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you all the steps that are required to be able to support the player controller with the interaction SDK. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for sample and I'm assuming that you downloaded the Oculus integration V37 or greater because it's gonna be a requirement for this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop the Oculus Interaction Sample Rig, and this is gonna be the one that you most likely are gonna need for any experiences that use the Interaction SDK. So if you expand this, you're gonna see that it has an input of VR, an OVR camera rig. OVR camera rig is the component that you will need to be able to use basically the camera in VR and, and see everything with the perspective of the VR you know, lenses. And then the input of VR, it's going to be, you know, the part of the Oculus integration interaction SDK that is going to allow you to interact with objects. So this has some of the controllers, the hands, and then any transformations that they need to be able to map the skeleton on hands so that they can do better interactions with the interaction SDK are gonna be part of the input of VR. So the next thing that you'll need to do, let's say that you want to support, you know, moving around and and doing a snap rotation or perhaps a, you know, continuous rotation, you can go into the OVR camera rig and then start adding some of those components. So some of the mistakes that people are making uh, when they try to add the OVR player controller, they add it to the Oculus Interaction sample rig and then that causes a lot of issues because this is relying on the movement of the OVR camera rig. So input OVR, it needs to be at the same level as the OVR camera rig. When the OVR camera rig moves, the, the hands are going to move. So make sure you don't make any changes to this component in here other than, you know, scripts that you want to use for, you know, adding additional functionality, but any movement or things like that, make sure that you do it on the OVR camera rig. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collapse all of these components, let's collapse this as well. And what I'm gonna do is I have already a player control that I created, but I'm gonna show you what you need to do. If you wanted to do it from scratch, you can do it this way. You can add an OVR player controller and that out of, the, out of the box is going to add, you know, a character controller and also an OVR player controller. This character controller is a dependency of the OVR player controller and, and that's because the Oculus integration includes a requirement at the very top of the script that makes sure that, you know, you are including a character controller. And it's also, you know, it, they make sure that you do that so that the movement of the player controller, the colliders, everything, it's already available with the, with the character controller. So if I wanted to implement this, I would move this, the Y axis on the center to be, you know, to be one. Then I think I did 0 0.25 and some of these numbers might not be 100% correct because I've been playing a lot around with this, but I'll try to make sure that it is correct. Then the radius, I think I did about that. I made it a little skinny so that we didn't have any issues with, uh, you know, colliding with the hands and things like that. If you notice, the, there, there's gonna be an offset on Z, and that's so that we don't collide with the hands, but I, on the player controller that I created, I made, I made it a little bit better because it no longer creates the capsules on the hands, and it makes, it makes the movement a lot more, more smoother, but obviously you can make any changes and improve it if you like. All right, guys, so you guys can see that we can see everything and the hands as well, and if I try to grab the cup, nothing is going to work because we really haven't added some of those interactions. So I'm just gonna try, see if I can grab anything. And then this is also currently moving kind of weird. And if I move my hands, the, the interactions. So let me try grabbing the controllers and see what happens when I grab the controllers. So I'm gonna try moving back and actually, that actually works and I can do a snap rotation. And I think I can, you know, if I go closer in here, None of these components are going to work because they don't have the, the interactions that we're gonna need. And if I try to move anything in there, it's just not going to work very, very accurately. So I have in here the, the actual player controller sample rig, and this is gonna be the one that I recommend that you use because I've been testing with that one quite a bit. And if you expand it, you're gonna see that we have the OVR camera rig. This is going to have the same, you know, similar implementation that what I just showed you, which is a character controller. 
I just made a few changes on it and then, you know, it has different settings in here. The Y offset, it's actually the one that I just had. 0.15 on the radius, the high is two. But I also went and changed some of the, you know, some of the components in here for the input OVR. So if expanded, you're gonna see that I have my synthetic hands for the, basically for the actual hands. And then for the controller hands, I also have those components in here. And this is gonna allow you to basically see when, you, when you're grabbing the cup, when you're grabbing the torch, when you're interacting with the map, you're gonna be able to see your hands with the actual just hand tracking and also with the, with the controllers. So there's a lot of things that I added in here and I'm not gonna go through everything, but just know that if you add this component, things are going to work. So just to start, just to show you that it does work, we can just go ahead and hit play and then I'll show you how this is going to work with the controllers. So you can see that right off the bat, we have the ray interactions, which is cool with the controller, right? I am pressing the trigger button and then I can interact with the debug area. So this is gonna allow you to work with any UI that you implement. I can also move. So I'm using the, also the, uh, the actual joystick on the left controller and then also on the right one to basically to do a continuous rotation. So, so this works, I can move around if I wanted to grab the cup. You can see I can grab the cup. I can also move if I wanna move while grabbing the cup. So we can go ahead and, and then basically I'm holding the trigger button on the controller and then moving as well. I'm just gonna put the cup inside of here. And then if we grab, wanna grab the key, let's just go ahead and put the key away. And then you know what, maybe, maybe we'll just grab this and then we can go back in here. And then I'm rotating and we can just put this right here. And then all the interactions you know, should work. I can, okay, I was almost going to kick, uh, kick my keyboard <laughs> mistakenly with the controller. So I can grab the key, I can grab this, we can grab perhaps the, the torch. I can use this hand. I, I also have another area in here that I, that I added. And then this works perfectly, everything works. I can move around. So, so we know that the, the actual player controller is working with our hands, but I wanted to try something a little bit different too and then and I thought it was going to be cool. Let's say that I wanted to move with my hands because I wouldn't really want to just use my hands and then swap to the controller to be able to move around. So what I ended up doing is I created a bunch of poses and you can use these poses as well to move around. And the way that it works, if you go back into the actual OVR camera rig, I have the character controller, the OVR player controller with hand poses. This is something that I added, that I created. And this is basically just a copy of the uh, OVR player controller with additional functionality. I ended up just not doing a snap rotation. I unchecked these two different settings because the actual player controller didn't, didn't move correctly when I had those set. So basically these, these settings in here are going to work with the, with, with the movement of your hands. Basically you're gonna be able to do a gesture. So if I wanna move forward, I can do this. If I want to rotate, I can do this or this if I wanna rotate in the other direction. And if I wanna go back, I can basically just point my thumb finger against my face, basically towards my face. So I also have an OVR player locomotion menu that it's going to allow me to turn off the locomotion on and off. That way, if I'm interacting with the objects, basically I'm grabbing a cup, I don't wanna gesture on my hands to be able to move the, the, the rig because that's gonna feel weird or, or something gets triggered without me wanting to, if I don't wanna move and while I'm doing certain things, then I can turn that on and off. And that menu, it's going to be, it's basically the simple menu in here. If I go back in here, it's just gonna give you locomotion on and off. And it's going to be, it's going to be executed when you do this gesture with, or this pose with your hand. So the first thing, once you add this guide, you're gonna have different poses in here. So if you go into my prefabs in here, I have a bunch of poses, one for the index point forward, and this one is if you're doing this, it's going to get executed. It's going to basically give you an action and you can use the action for anything that you like in your game. I also have, if I want to do thumb, thumb point backward, that's going to be this pose right here. And then palm down and palm up with your thumb is gonna be this and this. So, so it's gonna allow me to do all the different movements with the actual uh, player controller that I have. So how do I hook them up? So what I can do is I can go into each one of my poses and wire it up the when selected and when unselected. So if I'm doing this, I wanna move forward. If I'm doing this, I wanna move backwards. So let's go ahead and, and basically set this one up so that you can see how that works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these two components. And then we're gonna just drag and drop the, the OVR camera rig because it contains a player controller that I'm gonna need. And then if you go here to the OVR player controller with hand poses, you're gonna see that I have say hand pose, move backward, move forward. 
In this case, I want to move forward, right? Because I'm selecting the index point forward. When I'm doing this, I want to move forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say set it to true. And then in this one, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing, but I'm going to set it to false. So what's going to happen is when this pose is detected and I do this, the OBR player controller is going to say, oh, this hand pose has been detected and that's going to be the index move forward. So I'm going to be moving the character controller forward. If I, if I am not detected anymore, I'm just basically going to set it to false. So I'm not going to move forward. So you can do the same thing with the move backward. And then what I'll do is I'll, let me just wire up all of these ones and I'll show you how it works. And then if I do this one, and we would have basically figured this out if I, if I would have run this, but I'm glad that we catch it before actually running this on the Oculus device. And now when I do this, you see the menu showing, right? And that's going to be the gesture and I can go here, go ahead and, you know, hit off and on and basically toggle it. So I'm going to say locomotion to on. I also put it on the, on the lock so you can see the, the state. And if I want to, if I want to basically interact with objects, I can interact with objects with my hands. I can grab this. I could also, if I wanted to reach, maybe reach the, the torch and grab it. I can also grab it and put it in here. I can also, if I wanted to put the torch in here, maybe I'll just grab it and then go back. So you can see that if I go forward, I can go back. And then the cool thing is the torch stays with me. The everything, you know, I like the particles moving around. So what if I wanted to rotate that way? And I made it in a way that it's going to follow the camera as well. The rotation is going to be based on the camera orientation. So it kind of makes more sense. Let me get closer to this. And I'm going to put the torch in here. No, maybe now. Maybe I'll just put the torch here and then grab the cup. I can put the cup in here. And you can see that everything, everything works. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate by doing this gesture. So let me go ahead and get back in here and move it. There we go. We can get closer and you can see that everything, everything is working. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go back in here. And some of you asked me if the gesture, the poses were 100% correct. And to be honest, they're, they're not, but I think this is a really cool, you know, a really cool test to run. And let me try this again. So, so you can see I have the race so I can interact with the, so this time I can also, you know, interact with different components in here. I can grab the cups, I can grab the keys, and then, you know, everything works. I can actually, if I wanted to grab a cup of coffee and then rotate or move around, we can do that. I can bring the cup here. Maybe we go back and then rotate. What I can do without actually shedding down, I'm just gonna put my controllers down, and then we're gonna do, basically we're gonna wait until it takes my hands, and now I can use the hand interactions, right? That's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments and make sure that you subscribe because it's going to help me in bringing you a lot more videos. And also make sure that you check this in GitHub because all the changes that you see right now are available in GitHub basically as of yesterday. So that's everything. Thank you very much.